Hello, I'm Dr. Katherine Cobb, President of Holy Trinity Episcopal Academy. And as many of you are aware, our world has changed dramatically since March, and we are now living under this new normal situation. And while there is no zero risk environment that we can create, we have taken many steps here at Holy Trinity to try and provide a safe environment for our students, our faculty, and our staff. I'm here today to share with you what those measures have been, and my friend and I will be walking you across campus so that you can learn what we have done to ensure the safety of our Holy Trinity community. Faculty, staff, and students are required to wear face coverings while entering, exiting, or traveling on campus, as well as on the school bus and different points during the school day. Exceptions may be made at the lower school as physical distancing dictates. We have installed UV filters in all of our air conditioning handlers at both campuses to enhance air filtration and reduce the risk of viral and fungal contamination. We've purchased a COVID tracking app for students, faculty, and staff to log their temperatures and track any symptoms to help them determine whether or not they should attend school. This app is updated regularly according to CDC guidelines and can also help us spot any trends and illnesses to make real-time decisions. We are significantly limiting campus visitors and volunteers to reduce the amount of exposure to our students. New signage at all entrances will promote healthy habits and notify vendors or guests that face coverings are required. Hand sanitizers will be placed at entrances and key locations. High touch areas in all buildings, classrooms, and outside areas, including our lunch tables, will be cleaned and sanitized frequently throughout the day. We will also use sprayers to disinfect large spaces such as our outdoor furniture, cafe, restrooms, and locker rooms. Classrooms and teaching materials, including keyboards, will be cleaned and sanitized throughout the day by teachers and the sanitation staff. Water fountains will be closed, but we will maintain the use of our contactless water bottle fillers. We've made enhancements to our school clinics to provide dedicated space for students who are sick and need to go home. These students will be separated from those who visit for routine treatment or medication. Our nurses have also been equipped with PPE, or personal protective equipment. Plexiglass shields have been installed in the main office at the reception desks. We are evaluating class sizes carefully as schedules are finalized and will utilize larger spaces on campus to allow for physical distancing whenever possible. We are evaluating each classroom space on campus to ensure desk and furnishings optimize the ability for students to spread out as much as possible. Some classes will be taught outdoors when possible. In the primary and intermediate divisions, tables have been replaced with individual desks. We are constructing acrylic desk shields for use in primary grades one through three and intermediate grades four through six as well. Physical education classes will be held outdoors in shady areas as much as possible. Our PE teachers at both campuses have undergone special training to be able to present physical education classes with physical distancing or remotely should the need arise. At both campuses, chapel and assemblies will be split to allow maximum physical distancing. We've increased time between classes and a new traffic pattern will alleviate crowds in hallways and reduce capacity in the restrooms. To accommodate longer breaks between classes, our school day at the upper school has been extended by 15 minutes. We will use a single point of entry and exit for each classroom to avoid bottlenecks at the classroom door and in the hallways. The use of digital materials whenever possible will decrease the sharing of classroom supplies, textbooks, and papers. All lunch vendors will wear masks while preparing food and will provide only individually packaged items. We are also implementing a cashless system at both campuses so money is not changing hands. Plexiglass shields have been installed in the serving areas at the Tiger Cafe. 
Grade levels will alternate by week in their use of the Cub Cafe for lunch. For the grade level not eating in the Cub Cafe, lunches will be delivered to the classroom. Serving windows add an additional layer of safety to lunch distribution. We're adjusting the number of students being served lunch at one time to allow for more physical distancing. Mask will be required inside the Tiger Cafe during lunch distribution. The daily schedule is being modified to include extra time for distribution of school lunches, as well as needed cleaning. We are building our new Lakeview Pavilion for lunch and outdoor classroom space outside the library, and we have ordered new picnic tables to increase our outdoor seating capacity. We will also be utilizing classroom space at lunchtime. In order to meet the needs of students who are in remote learning or absent due to their own illness or that of a family member, we have installed web cameras and microphones in all classrooms. This summer, our teachers underwent training in Google Meets and Microsoft Teams to learn how to use synchronous video meeting software. They also received additional training in our on-campus platform to facilitate effective off-site instruction. We've upgraded the internet bandwidth at both campuses and cloud-based online software is available to help promote collaborative workspaces and lesson delivery in case it is needed for remote learning. All faculty and upper school students will have access to the online Microsoft suite of products, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, as well as the Google Education Suite. Students in fifth and sixth grade will have access to the Microsoft Suite. And finally, we've added new live stream equipment in the Scott Center that allows us to present more virtual meetings, presentations, and chapel services as needed. So as you can see, we've taken many steps to improve the environment to ensure the health and safety of our faculty, students, and staff. And we will continue to monitor recommendations from our experts in the community. So we ask for your patience and your support and your prayers. Thank you and God bless. Yeah.